It's my automatic chicken door. Test mode. Here's a little pulley. Then the springs keep the tension on the rope tight at all times. Here's my solar panels. So on the inside, there's my door, limit switch on each side. Then there's the motor. Let me reach around here. Here, this is a light dependent transistor, but it's the same concept. But we have auto mode where it uses the light to decide when to open and close, or I have the manual close and open button. I also have a run and test and in test basically the delay is 10 seconds in run it's about 10 minutes so so here's inside my control box I had a UPC that blew out so I have this battery we have solar that comes in to charge connects to the battery here and my load comes up through the fuse which also acts like a switch then here's my control board. Got the Arduino. We got a power supply, a capacitor just for extra filtering. Two relays, uh, diodes to protect uh, my circuit in case the relays feed back. So here's my light sensor. I have it in test mode. I'll go ahead and make it nighttime. You notice this LED comes on. I got positive 12 volts here. And then when it's daytime, the other LED will light and we'll have negative 12 volts here. My negative, what that is, is it's just swapping the polarity. These wires are gonna go to my motor. So when it's positive, the motor will turn one way to open and when it's negative, it'll swap the polarity to close. I built in a test mode, this switch right here. And essentially it changed, you notice there's barely any delay. It's like five second delay to make it switch. And I figured I might as well just build it in because I, I might be troubleshooting it. When I flip it to run mode, the delay changes to whatever set in the program. Right now it's 600 uh, seconds, which is like 10 minutes, I think. Something like that. So here's my motor. You can tell it's not quite square. What I did was I got these gear motors on all electronics and I took the gear off and the, the shaft is pretty small. I took a piece of Three inch, three eighths inch uh, stainless steel tubing, and then I put a, a piece of quarter inch uh, copper tubing inside, and then I uh, slipped it over the the spindle here, and then beat it with a hammer and squished it in a vise. And obviously, since it's not completely square, I made this to be a little bit loose so it can move around.